Hello and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name is Negative Root and let's get cracking. Today we're talking about negative feedback loops and I hope to God this is right. <laughs> I've just spent the last um, oh, probably half an hour trying to figure out this build and um, yeah it looks weird I know but just bear with me. It, I, I know it's right. I know it works. Right now um, we have an electrical system okay we have production obviously a steam engine that's run off a boiler and then we have a factory this this is a factory okay so we have our miners there in there we have our radars there in there um, inserters and, and whatnot um, that's just to simulate the drain now as you lose power this happens you'll notice that that electric miner is going very slowly and we have two coal in there now we had 25 about three minutes of well, probably actually 10 minutes ago um, now I've added all these just to simulate what happens because this slows down and when this slows down to a rate that is slower than these okay that's when you start to get a negative feedback loop okay you will start seeing that because you can't get the water up to temperature you get less power which means you come around here and then you get less speed which means you get less coal which means that you get less temperature which means you get less power which means that you come around and you get less speed and you get less coal and then you get less temperature and you get less power and it around and round and round and round it goes until you end up with zero now this is actually going to demonstrate it so I'm really happy about that now negative feedback loops in factory proper are really really sneaky they will sneak up on you because of the sheer size involved uh, generally you won't notice the start okay it'll start by the slightest tip so you'll throw down a, an oil refinery you will put down some laser turrets neck minute no power that's how quick it can be you can lose power very very fast because you notice that the bigger the draw the more effect there is on this so if you have a big factory running off boilers um, it could be that you eventually get caught out and you'll notice that right now our production is 507 and that's going to start to drop very shortly as this burns up it just takes a little bit of time and that's the dangerous thing it just takes a little bit of time you know over time you will see that the the negative feedback loop will actually strengthen and coming along okay and just priming these with some fuel doesn't actually fix the problem it'll just return to it if it does it once it'll do it again unless you change something in the system and generally the best thing to change you'll notice that we're starting to lose fuel we still haven't lost power you will notice that production is pretty pretty stable it has been for the last 10 minutes okay we're losing fuel now so you can see the temperature in the engine it's 97 95 93 okay and we're starting to see this decline okay and now that's just gonna make this even slower which then in turn is gonna make our boilers slower okay and that is how it all happens you notice that we got this nice little curve now and we'll see another big decrease when we lose this one when you have a large boiler system a la something like this over here um, it becomes a very very rapid and very very fast you notice that we're kind of fighting on the edge right now um, the power situation has righted itself but this is down to three coal and this is down to none so it will eventually knock itself out of kilter and have zero in the system you notice that there's none here there's none there and it's just gradually or winding itself down uh, negative feedback loops are obviously of great danger um, especially if you're playing on a map with uh, decent biter settings because uh, those biters will eat your shit and then you'll have a bad day and bad days aren't fun you know that's not why we play video games you'll notice here that we're down to one and we still don't have any more coal Oop, here it comes it's going to go to this one and that's going to give us a momentary boost but you'll notice that this is on its last piece that's on its last piece and we are well and truly in deep doo-doo if we were running a factory on it you see how it kind of righted itself there for a moment but it's very very shortly that's going to fall in a hole so keep this in mind um, there's nothing wrong with using boilers in the early game they're the only way of going uh, you see that it's just fallen off a cliff we're down to a hundred 
you know, a tiny amount. Well, we did get a little bit of saving coal there, but that'll be quickly, quickly over with. You know, see that right now we're getting massive fluctuations, which isn't good. Um, back down again. This will, this will crash eventually. Oops, wrong button. Okay, there we go. And now we're out of power. So our electric miner drill has stopped. Everything is stopped. This is still generating a little bit, but it's going to eventually zero out. And this flat line is not good when it comes to your factory because that means you have no defenses if you have laser turrets, no production um, of science or anything, and generally no power is a bad, bad thing. So that is my little video on negative feedback loops just remember that this was just sim simulating a factory um, it doesn't mean that if you avoid lay um, if you avoid radars you're not going to have it happen it will happen it's just a matter of time and size um, for me I had four three yeah, I had three set up like three full banks set up and it hit me at about episode 20 something oh, I think I was about Ah, what would that be? That would probably be your eight, nine, ten hours in to a factory, and suddenly, boom, this. Uh, and getting it restarted was an issue because it wasn't like, okay, I'll just come here and and throw that in. Oops, I'll just grab that back. Okay, because doing this is harder to restart a big factory. You need a bigger perpetuous to to reboot all of that I actually had to disconnect large areas of the factory to get it back running again you'll notice that now that we've got this going again we will see some speed out of it and it will save itself for a little bit but it will eventually go back to the way it was you're not changing anything so keep that in mind that's my thoughts on negative feedback loops try and avoid them where you can switch over to solar and all the good things thank you very much for joining me I look forward to seeing you in the next video which uh, I think we're going to talk about, um, well, we're going to talk about, uh, what are we going to talk about here? I'm just looking at a little list off the video. Well, let's talk about cracking in the next video. Let's do that. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you then.